Hey everyone, welcome back to Silicon Valley Blog YouTube channel. My name is Hari. I'm your fellow developer here, and we are working with the style with the CSS. So, uh, style with Next.js or CSS, CSS is a thing. So we are working with the uh, styling uh, in Next.js. So how many ways we can give a style? We can write global style, CSS module we can write, Tailwind CSS we can give, SAS we can give, CSS in JS JavaScript we can give. So let's say we will we will uh, discuss here in this video only CSS modules. So what is the benefit for uh, using CSS module here? So it's create a local scope uh, from CSS classes to avoid naming conflicts and improve maintainability. So what it is saying, why it is saying maintainability and conflict of the CSS. Let's see. Let's suppose you have two files, okay? And in the two files, you have given CSS for each and every one files. Whatever name, let's suppose take the name by A, 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 A dot JS and B dot JS and given the same name for like, uh, you can say, uh, dashboard and a dashboard. Same name you have given. Sometime it's, you know, uh, coming in the same scope and, you know, uh, taking each and every colors. Let's suppose you have given uh, for a a dot js to background to back to change the background uh, into red and b dot js you have given change the background to red uh, in in green you can say because red we have taken. So now you can see uh, because of it is you know happening in same scope, uh, so it will conflict with each other. So now you can see you have, but but what was your intention? Your intention was to you know see different different colors in different different files, but same color is coming in the uh, in both uh, two files. Rather, you have given uh, different colors. How it is possible? It it is it is it is saying uh, it it is it is happening, or it is saying it is because I am doing this thing because our CSS uh, in the same scope. Okay, that's why it is happening. So it it is like you know uh, you have. <laughs> Uh, you have created two uh, variables with where and uh, these are you know making you know conflict with each other <laughs> scoping rule <laughs> of javascript so don't go that much deep but let's understand this thing. so avoiding to that we are having css modules so how i can uh, apply uh, the css module here and uh, we'll try to change the background color and uh, we, we would like to play with these two buttons here background uh, ba backward and forward buttons two buttons we are having here let's see now what i can do uh, so we were having pages uh, page.js and uh, here i have given page module uh, page mod page page dot module dot css so module way I, I have to give the css okay now what i can do here is uh, i will create one style here let's suppose we are giving for dashboard uh, so we can directly access and we can say uh, dashboard container we can say container and what style we can give let's suppose we would like to change the background color background color and uh, this should be white and just creamy background color will take uh, that that must be okay this is this seems like a chocolatey <laughs> i love the chocolates yeah so let's see uh, now we have given container so this is this is the way uh, where we you know uh, how how we will give CSS page dot CSS we can give. But here we have added one extra stuff that is module dot CSS. This is the extension that we have, we have we have to use while we are using CSS modules. So now what I can do is uh, I want to apply uh, the style that I have given here uh, in the containers to page dot JS because that was the main motor for us to take care here so i have given use a client because we are using client side uh, rendering and uh, let's see what i can say here import and this is for dashboard right to give some good name to this dashboard okay now my style will be accessible uh, by the name dashboard here and uh, would like to give the path so where this is written is the, it is it is written here only in the same uh, same you know directory or same folder we can say directory would be more appropriate folder that that is also fine uh, page module dot css now we can see for uh, press from from this uh, keyboard control and right click from the mouse 
you can see the path if it is taking or not let me click right click uh, let me click the left left click here uh, for my mouse and now I can say it is accessible okay cool now we are good and how can I apply here just suppose I have a diff and I have two buttons that I can uh, see on my screen here so uh, I can switch and I can show it to, to that let's see now I would like to apply the classes so this is this is even uh, you know gsx so let's see now I, I would like to apply here so pure css we can we can uh, give this uh, we'll write some class name and many things uh, how we can uh, apply let's suppose uh, it's a normal css then we can say uh, this is this is the way then you know css will be taken but here uh, we have to write different syntax for this class name and uh, we can take as an object format and now we can say uh, what name we are having we are having dashboard okay so i will give here and in javascript how how we can access uh, you know the things that is uh, concatenate with this so let's see we can give this our dashboard it is a name that we have given uh, for clarity or uh, shake of clarity now we can say uh, the short of things that uh, happening here uh, with the dashboard so and uh, we are having the link uh, of this page of this uh, css from from this file so what name we have given then we have given this container uh, if i use here container so the the things that i have given inside the container uh, would be taken here so let me run this you can uh, run i already run that but server but you can run npm run dev or npm start uh, the way you have given with your package.json so it is compiled it has taken uh, time uh, 846 millisecond and uh, it is it is uh, given given more information but our purpose is to see here the changes so yeah our background has been changed and uh, let's play around uh, with these buttons even though now uh, we are having buttons with the containers so let me go here and what i can do is uh, i'll grab this class name first here and because uh, we would like to do some styling with container or even uh, here let, let me play here so for simplicity uh, to understand this uh, what we can do let me let me try the inspect uh, stuff here and here i will try some style for this okay now we can say display flex okay now uh, it automatically adjusts uh, with the flex way parallel to, uh, parallel to each other and now i would like to take in the between of two buttons okay two buttons are here now i can say uh, because if it is a big screen then uh, my uh, layout shouldn't be break so i can horizontally uh, you know align this to center and vertically also would like to align to center so everything would be fine then then i can say i'll apply some padding um, between two buttons and let's see now okay two buttons and i think margin would be fine if we give uh, margin would be fine if uh, we align that's okay i not think so it's okay now uh, this is the normal style that i've given and let me copy this and let me paste this here yeah now i can see i would like to give more style to that and uh, now we can see uh, buttons are not you know seems uh, looking good in the style uh, or even we can you know just curve uh, a little bit later we can say borders radius we can change uh, the curvy borders <laughs> this is a good shape you can see <laughs> okay it's a let's see uh, the borders we can say 12 pixel that's looking so good would like to change uh, with the pixels you can give with the other other units you can take care uh, but this is a small thing so i'm not uh, you know appropriate with the uh, or not stuck with any uh, css units so you can you know take care i think so that's looking so good so it's it's looking so charming 
mind blowing i uh, see how you can uh, do your stuff good that's so looking so good and uh, if i can not so good i think so that is looking so good and classy okay <laughs> yes so let me copy paste this uh, in that container and let's see now what we can see uh, now we are having two buttons that yeah that is having on click events uh, it's happening to taking uh, one button to backward one button to forward uh, respectively let's see uh, would like to give the style to uh, buttons and how they look like let's see now we can say buttons so how can we go directly we can target the buttons uh, see because of this modules is extra stuff is taken care here it's already added here and now you can see this is hyphen hyphen uh, uh, underscore underscore so this is the way of you know uh, writing uh, you can say css uh, see good css uh, i forgot that this is the bam bam standard bem bam standard uh, to write the css let me see the bam standard I think I'm going with the deep, but let's see. So this is a good way how you can, you know, uh, define uh, the CSS. Uh, that's the. So uh, we we write methodology uh, how to give CSS styles uh, in that yet and naming you can you know target how you can give how you can give to block uh, style how you can to give element style if you are having internal elements how you can write uh, good css see here you can see uh, it is the same style right block uh, dot elements it is targeting but here what what they have given uh, in the bad style block name block name dot em and div dot block em they have given so uh, this is a good way this is the bad way uh, and underscore underscore we have they have given so this is a good way let's see not go that much deep in that but let uh, for because we are doing a style so it's it, it's okay if you are taking care uh, that's a good, good way that's a good practice to write that now let me see would like to give uh, uh, this css modules style to our buttons button shouldn't be you know uh, uh, button shouldn't be left here so why why you would like to left the buttons here we can give more style to the buttons so container uh, and we target container then we are we would like to target buttons sometimes my keyboard is stuck it's okay and what a style we can give the buttons let's see uh, how we can we would like to make the buttons uh, would like to give paddings to buttons mm -hmm. that's good buddy cool okay this 12 pixel 12 pixel is my favorite because it's not so much but it's making sense and some margin 0 and 12 pixel <laughs> making sense yeah and uh, we can do border none if uh, this is a favorite border none we have given border radius even we can target uh, let me change uh, the font let me change the font for the buttons font size now we can say uh, go 15 pixel cool and this is this is looking good i think we can change the spelling uh, this is a small case so we can uh, change this to uh, this to uppercase background looking good and forward looking good cool i save that and let me go here looking good okay wow buddy and let me add some font family we can directly add even you can import the font family but uh, uh, you, here also you can get the option font family we are doing like uh, we are a refresher with this style uh, so it's good to understand which one is looking good Mm, making sense yeah i always love sans serif but how oh, it is looking good it's looking good what about emoji it's looking eye catchy that's good let's see uh, <laughs> yeah 
so font family if a font family we have given and font uh, what font weight we can say give a high high to six five five hundred we can't forget anything but six hundred we are going with the bolder size that's okay looking cool and definitely these are buttons so uh give some interactivity uh with with uh border radius Twelve, twelve. This is favorite one. This is my favorite, especially my favorite one, and because uh, the the style that we have given is a curvy, a curvy shape to this. So let's make more curvy to this buttons also uh, in the different direction. So uh, not this way, not this way, not that way. We can uh, tick that way okay okay we are opposite to that let's see looking good looking good and for the interactivity would like to uh, target something more here uh, okay because we need a hover stuff if you are uh, you know hovering to the buttons or not uh, so it's making you know more interactivity uh, than uh, we should you know uh, show uh, something uh, in the hover what what we want we want to change some font or anything uh, and uh, even you can change the font family font family to on on let's see so on the hover we'll we'll see here only so how we can target the hover we are having hover here interactivity that's good buddy and it will uh, if you are you know making the enable that it will go otherwise if you're not it won't come so let's see here now we can say uh, for the interactivity what we can say we, we, we can change the font font family this is my way uh, to make more interactive fantasy we can do that's cool and uh, uh, or cursor cursor should be pointer should be let's see what option we are having okay uh-huh we are having many options here so mostly give this pointer so let's see and uh, here was the font size we have given would like to change the font size so my cursor will be visible everything will be visible and uh, let's see we have given here the font size 25 would like to reduce that element for the interactivity and uh, let's see we'll go 23 not that much more but it's okay it's less lesser than this and now let's see you are going there you are going there <laughs> and you are saying you are doing something on the buttons and you are changing the font so this is this is the stuff uh, my friends that we are doing here and we are taking care here so this is uh, all about the css modules if you like this video and uh, stay tuned on this channel let's see we will do more interactivity stuff uh, to do tomorrow or in the future thank you so much good day